Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail 2's. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and we have got a double feature here of uh, mix-up rounds from Maelstrom. Uh, he had some good ones for me, and since mix-up rounds tend to be shorter, I figured I'd pair these. Uh, I've got the... Uh, this is a uh, level 3 Gaplin, which I believe is a 650. And uh, the other one is a with a uh, Hyakushiki in a 650 room. I'm not sure whether it's the... Uh, I think it is probably the 650 Shiki, the level 3 that he uses there, but I don't remember for certain. Uh, but yeah, Gaplin is quite good. It's kind of a uh, it's kind of a puzzler at times because its weapons are really kind of geared towards ranged combat and its damage is geared towards melee. So that is, and it has a really weird, kind of occasionally difficult melee uh, pattern. So. But yeah, I think that's how it works. Generally, it does it does better melee damage, but uh, you know, again, just you can sit back and beam with it all day if you really need to. And let's see, that is a Zeta plus a one, which used its maneuver armor to avoid getting stunned, but not forever. Yeah, and that's the uh, the big trick with the Gaplin is landing both hits of that melee, which you know you really kind of have to be clipping into somebody, and uh, that is. Because uh, if they're if you're not lined up perfectly and you skate past them, you're only going to get the first hit. If either hit connects, it's still a knockdown. So, ooh, good shot there. Tagged one, killed another. Always a good combination. Let's see. Detoured off to the side to recharge the rifles, and there's that full armor Kai again, which is about to die. Yep, took a little bit uh, more uh, than I thought. I don't know how many slots the full armor Hyakushiki Kai has, but I wouldn't be surprised if, it, if that person had it geared out for a lot of melee defense. Which you can do at this point with level 5 parts. Good knockdown and full contact on the uh, on that Totus Ritter. And yeah, so far uh, doing really well, and there's... You know, uh, I say so far, but this round is almost over. And Mal's team has a good 3,000 point lead, good place to be in. And... Time for the big swing, I think. Yep. Uh, this is another one like I was talking about recently with the Garrett Schmidt Zaku, where, yeah, the big the big swings are gonna be, are like your best source of damage, so you kind of got to be ready to do the knockdown. You got to throw some haymakers with this, and not quite. Sport fires coming in does not seem to have been hitting here. This, yeah, I was about to say the second that thing's iframes drop, it's dead, whether it's male or somebody else that does it. There's a Dovin Wolf, which yeah, that is. This is far enough back that both levels of the Dovin Wolf had the stun resistance skill that, na that only the level 2 has now. So, oops, stunned by some friendly missiles, but is he going to get the kill shot in? Yes! Nice! Yeah, so that was a, a good solid round, and yeah, like I said, Gaplin can be really hard to use, but this was, this was a good one. Landed most of his melee, and that's a trick in and of itself. So, yep, top score at 5,260, and yeah good pursuit assist score as well so yeah really good round and that is uh, that is part one and we will now move on to part two and here we are in uh, part B where uh, male is using the Hyakushiki I believe he's uh, I be uh, believe this is the 650 that's uh, what uh, what the title says, uh, Hyaku uh, Shiki 650 mix-up, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we've got, and it is still really quite good. It's fast, it's maneuverable, it has some really good melee moves, and uh, yeah, it uh, it is solid. So, let's see, that is somebody flying by. There's a Game Alk right there, which is a good target, but can also lock on and do pretty substantial damage. And also, since there's a lot of enemies there, yeah, best to move back and find a better uh, place to engage. The O is it's a better matchup than you might think because most of its damage is beam damage, and Hyakushiki, of course, takes less of that than most anything. So, yeah, it's very easy to max out its beam defense. Hit it with the bird lime. Let's see, and the Zeta. Let's see. Trying to get in. There's three of them though, so sometimes you just have to pull back because there's really no place to go. And let's see, he might be able to uh, get through here and do some fighting, but oops, he's getting shot by other things, and that person's actually on the roof. So, yeah, not a lot you can do except that. And probably gonna get uh, shot down by the thing on the roof, but I think he canceled out of the second half of his uh, downswing, unless that was just the straight downswing and not a 
an upswing downswing like I think it was but there's the game alk and there's a great opportunity okay yeah he just went straight into the downswing because again 7,000 damage and a single a uh, single uh, second swing uh, finished it off because the game alk has kind of low melee defense and yeah the Hyakushiki is pretty good at its at its starter cost of 550 with melee damage and I imagine with the extra slots to get more damage piled on there, it's pretty frightening. See, somebody's coming up. That is a Zeta. It did not have time. It did have time to do that, though. So, yeah, nothing you can do but tackle and get it in range of you, hopefully. Uh, teammates following up. It's a Girodoga, which did, I think, land one of its swings, which... Also, I'm impressed by how fast the Girodoga can chain those. I really want to get one of those. Good use of the double dodge roll and amazingly still alive after all this. Didn't get the kill, but got an assist. So, yeah, this is uh, just the the amount of surviving he does here is really impressive, honestly, because there, there are a couple of times that uh, they had him dead to rights, but he just managed to uh, manage to get in there and ma uh, make a kill before they could do anything. Let's see, yeah, use the Doga as a shield a little bit, I think. That, if that support fire hits, uh, his team wins. So, see what happens with that. If he can keep them all there. Or better yet, get a kill on the way out. And swing. And, okay, yeah, 868. Game Malk is right there. If he hits it before it hits him, it's done. And went right through the uh, Giridoga, and understandably so. And, okay, not quite. Man, is he going to make the kill shot, though? Again, he's just so low on health it all comes down to who can uh, make the first kill and he's got it I think yep I had I thought he had it a second uh, before that but Hyakushiki's big weakness is weak Vulcans so even to get with type advantage he was only doing 60 damage with those so that's the thing but yeah 4,000 damage uh, one pursuit prevention top combat score 4079 and yeah good specs all the way through so yeah that is going to do it for this double feature and thank you much for the rounds maelstrom and we will be back soon with more so till next time everybody take care and have fun later and just to get the uh runtime on this a little bit closer to what my videos usually are uh here's a short clip of the laggiest gallus j i have ever fought <laughs>